Hi friends, welcome back. Good evening. I was thinking Mrs. Oaks did her whole sing-along a couple Fridays ago about lullabies and it got me thinking about a health topic that we really don't talk a whole lot about during the day and that's called sleep. Yes, going to bed. So it really is a healthy thing that you try and get a good night's sleep. And for five to 11 year olds, you need anywhere from nine hours to 14 hours of sleep a day. Now that does include naps. So you don't have to go to bed at noon in order to sleep all day. Okay, so it does include naps. But what I wanted to do is talk to you a little bit about a good way to get yourself into a habit that you do sleep well. Now, my friends who have been through the Fit Kid Factory, you know that sleep is one of the four things that we deal with when we're talking about health. Nutrition, exercise, water, and sleep. That was your news segment when you were talking about those during your Fit Kid Factories. So sleep is really, really important. It's very important. Why do we need it? Lots of reasons. We want to fresh our brain. We want to restore our energy. We want our muscles to recover. We want to grow. Yes, you need to sleep so your body can grow, so that your body can take all the that energy that it spent keeping you moving all day long, and it can pull it inward so that you grow. It helps you move memory from one section of your brain to another, and it's kind of cool that way. So those are the reasons why we need to sleep. And as I mentioned before, how long you need to sleep is 11 to 4, 9 to 14 hours, including your naps. Now, adults, we need a little less sleep than you do, but that doesn't mean we don't need any sleep. We need to sleep too. So what happens when we sleep? I found this really cool website. Believe it or not, it's a lovely little slideshow from WebMD. And it really talks about all the different things that happen to you when you sleep. That there are basically two types of sleep. One is a non-movement cycle and the other one is REM sleep. Now REM sleep is rapid eye movement, R-E-M. And what that means is that our eyes actually move under our eyelids. I have a really cool picture here in a minute. And that's when they think that we're dreaming and our memories and memory is shifting from one place to another. The rest of our sleep is light sleep or deep sleep. And so in REM sleep, here's a really cool picture. They show the eyes moving underneath. And that's what it's talking about, that that's when we sleep. So here are your different sleep cycles that you spend time sleeping and dreaming, but you spend time in deep sleep, you spend time in light sleep, and all those cycles build up and that creates your nine to 14 hours worth of sleep. So one of the cool things about the sleep cycle, for those of you who have Fitbits that track your sleep, you can really see what, a sleep, what your sleep cycle looks like and how it helps you. So I wanna to talk to you about some different things. And the biggest thing I wanna to talk to you about is setting up a routine to go to sleep. Yes, just like you have a routine when you wake up. You wake up, you put on your clothes, maybe you take a shower, maybe you brush your teeth. Well, you should do all of that at the end of the night too, that you really should set up a routine. So about 30, 35 minutes before you want to go to bed, you start your routine. You could start with a small nutritious snack, and I like Kalos, or a small handful of chips, or a little bit of popcorn, or something nutritious and healthy, some celery and apple. Really avoid heavy, heavy, heavy foods. Obviously, after your snack, the next thing you should go up and do is brush your teeth. Yep, brush your teeth. Then you should put on your pajamas or whatever comfortable clothes you're gonna wear. Then you should shut down all your electronics. The light from our iPads and our phones actually interfere with our sleep, so we should really shut them off. At least darken them, but you really should just turn them off. If you want some music or some white noise or you want a nightlight, that's fine. Just make it very soft. Okay, that's why there's nightlights designed for it. If you're going to play music and you want to play it right up to the time that you want to fall asleep, then get music that's on a timer. Use a clock radio or use a CD player that has a time function. Some of them even have sleep functions on it. Then I want you to tuck in. Yep, good old tuck into bed. Snuggle under the covers, hang out, get settled, get situated. Finally, close your eyes and lay as still as you can. Breathe as normally as you can. The biggest, hardest thing is that we're going to want to get up and get one more hug. Go play with the puppy one more time. 
Go say goodnight to our parents one more time. Go hang out with our brother or sister for one more. Watch one more TV show. Watch one more book or listen to one more story. Really, you have to settle down because every time you get up, that whole process starts over and it could take you another 30, 40 minutes just to fall asleep again. So, again, some tricks. Biggest tricks. Try, go to the bathroom, brush your teeth, get your glass of water, have your little snack, do it all about, starting about 30, 35 minutes before you want to crawl into bed. And at that point when you crawl into bed, tuck in, get your good night hugs, get your good night kisses, make sure that night lights on, whatever white noise, whatever you're going to use to help you fall asleep, that's all situated and try and stay in bed as much as you can. Obviously, if you have to go to the bathroom, get up and go, but come back. Don't keep getting up because that changes everything. How do you know? If you really got a good night's sleep, you'll know. Because when you wake up in the morning, you'll feel refreshed, you'll feel awake, you'll feel alive. If you're a tiny bit groggy in the morning, try some jogging in place or some jumping jacks. But getting up at the same time almost every day is really important too. So sometimes what I do is I put a number on my clock and I hide the minutes and I make sure that the two numbers match before I get myself up out of bed. So there are things that are important to help us fall asleep. It's important to stay in bed. It's important to get a good night's rest. So on Canvas, here's what I want you to do. This next week, I want you to think about sleep. I want you to try and shoot for that nine to 14 hours worth of sleep. I want you to take some time to quiet down before you go to bed. No ele major electronics, no major exercise, just settling yourself down, getting yourself ready to go to sleep. Let me know on Canvas what you did and how you did. Did you change any of your routines? Did you find it make a difference? It's going to be a couple of simple yes, no questions, nothing big. Just curious how it's going to go. In the meantime, it's time for me to shut down. So until next time, sleep well and sweet dreams.